I, I was absolutely delighted to be asked to take on the role of central chaplain. Um, you probably know that all bishops, uh, as well as their responsibilities within the diocese, take on wider roles as well. And there were several reasons why the Mother's Union uh, just seemed to fit with my passions and the things I'm interested in. I love the emphasis on supporting the family. Um, my own family life has been hugely significant for me. I'm married to a clergyman, we have two adult children, and I think alongside my faith in Christ, uh, my life in my family um, has been one of the most formative things for me. So being able to encourage and support the work Mothers Union does in supporting family life uh, is really exciting and a real privilege. Now more than ever, the family needs supporting and encouraging. Family life is under great pressure in lots of different ways. Um, it's very different, it's changing. The shape of families are changing all around the world. Uh, financial pressures, uh, poverty can all put many demands on the life of the family. And so I think releasing families to be that place of encouragement and joy and support uh, is something I really believe in and I know the Mothers' Union does too. And so I'll be really happy to help out in any way that I can. I have known about Mother's Union for many, many years. My own grandmother was a firm and uh, very committed member of her local Mother's Union for her whole life. And she died several years ago and uh, I know that her local branch uh, was a support and a place of real encouragement, of fellowship, of community for her. Um, so I've known about it through her. Uh, when I was a curate, my husband and I both joined Mother's Union at the same time alongside our vicar. Um, we all three of us decided that we all wanted to join at the same time. So Mother's Union has been part of my life for a very long time. Well, I love that Mother's Union, although it does support mothers and it is for women, it's not only for mothers and for women and is open to, to men, uh, is a well and truly inclusive organisation in that way. Uh, Matt and I have always been um, slightly uh, into challenging gender roles in different ways and so we were delighted to both join as a couple and I love the fact that men can be me members of Mother's Union alongside women. I am so excited that Mother's Union is such a worldwide organisation, being in 84 different countries around the world with 4 million members, the capacity of an organisation like that to influence real change on the ground is huge. Uh, I love the fact that our worldwide president is from Guyana and um, that's a wonderful thing that she will bring to the organisation. I think we live in a world where um, fragmentation and misunderstandings can so easily develop between people and communities. So the Mother's Union presents something different, which is an opportunity to learn from each other, to, um, to understand each other despite all of our differences, to share together um, and to find out about lives that are different from our own. Um, I love, for instance, what I hear about the Mother's Union's work in South Sudan, developing literacy and uh, financial training, and just hearing about the influence that that is having on the ground for women and for their families and the communities that they're part of. Um, closer to home in Carlisle Diocese, our members have been involved with uh, producing back-to-school bags for children starting school and the mothers and fathers dropping them off at the school gate and I very clearly remember that day uh, with both of my children. It's both a joy and a difficult day as you wave your children off to school. So that's a wonderful ministry that our members here are involved with. They've also been looking at issues of loneliness. That can be a real problem in rural communities and seeing what they can do to support people in that way. So there are some amazing stories of what members are doing around the world. I would be 
consider it a real privilege to be able to pray for Mother's Union. I think um, the work of the Mother's Union in supporting Christian faith is so exciting and uh, anything I can do as central chaplain to encourage that, to pray, to meet members, to meet the different committees, to hear about what's going on around the country um, and to play my part in that. Um, I think there is, as in the church generally, particularly in this country, the challenge to show the, the relevance of the Mother's Union, to, particularly to a younger generation. A lot of Mother's Union members are older um, and that is wonderful. We need grandmothers, we need spiritual grandmothers, we need actual grandmothers um, to be the wisdom in their communities and to share what they've learned over a long life. Um, so I love our older members. It would also be great to look at what we can do to encourage a younger membership and to show people that actually the things that Mother's Union is concerned about to do with um, justice, poverty, releasing people into being who they're meant to be, these are issues that are, are of great concern to younger women as well. So anything I can do to, to sort of broaden awareness of Mother's Union and to open the demographic more widely, uh, I'd be very happy to do that, all the time praying. Well, I'm very keen to think about strengthening relationships with clergy since I'm married to a clergyman myself, <laughs> so uh, this is very dear to my heart. Um, I think it's really important that the Mother's Union sees itself as part of the local church and not separate from it. Um, it's really important that Mother's Union members and clergy stay in close contact with each other and find ways of communicating well about the issues um, that are affecting the churches and the communities that they're both part of and that's the point isn't it we're both on the we're all on the same team we're all part of God's church we are all wanting to build the kingdom in the places where we are so there are some great examples of mother's union branches and clergy working really well together so um, let's learn from where it's going well It's going to be a wonderful gathering of bishops and their spouses from around the world. And there's quite a lot of overlap, really, between the communities that those bishops will be coming from and the communities that Mother's Union serves around the world. So um, I think Lambeth Conference and Mother's Union have got an awful lot in common. They're both organisations that can um, foster good relationships in communities um, and meet each other and get to know each other. Um, so what can Mother's Union do to support the Lambeth Conference? I know Mother's Union members of, uh, around this country will be involved with hospitality initiatives as we welcome the bishops and their spouses to this country and that will be hugely important. Um, the Lambeth Conference is going to be very much based around the Bible um, and uh, sitting and listening and studying God's word together. So I think it would be amazing if Mother's Union members could commit to praying that that is a really fruitful process and that God speaks through his word to his church at this time. So if you would join us in praying for the Lambeth Conference, uh, that would be wonderful. Perhaps every day between now and the Lambeth Conference, that would be an amazing commitment to make. Amen.